Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Our last break of the night should be a good one. 2019 Panini Prism Football 12 box pick your team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. We got more in the store. Check it out. We also have a half case random team. I'm sure we might be able to knock that out tomorrow at some point. But this for now, last break of the night. Thanks to Tony for grabbing the last spot in our last break. Dallas Cowboys. There's everybody else. Thanks to everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. Break credit at the end as well. $100 of break credit being given away if you buy at least two teams in our pick your teams. Um, that promo may not last for all of the cases, so get into that early while you can. not uh -huh. Nice. Fresh and so clean. Here we are, three autos per box. Now Rex was saying earlier before we started the video, Joe, you should honestly be a sports analyst. I can see you doing YouTube commentary videos. And I told Rex, Rex, what do you think we're doing right now? What do you think we're doing right now? We, we, we're, we're, we're gonna open up some trading cards. We're gonna talk sports. And then Rex, well, but you're not interviewing players. We gotta interview players. That's touche, I think, I think we should. All right, so here's all 12 boxes right there. Sure, we can do that. We can do that. Sam Strayer will get some, uh, some female volleyball players to come in. We can interview them about... There's a big uh, tournament called, I think, Six Man Tournament, something like that. And so it's a huge tournament in Manhattan Beach. We can interview some people from those from those tournaments. It's a pretty fun one. What are we gonna have for the ladies that watch this show, Sam? Maybe some male volleyball players will come in. We can make that work. Rex thinks I should have a segment on the show, so but we should have players interview. Someday we'll get to there. Well, I mean, we're gonna have players sweep through and do signings here at the shop. We're going to try to do that. A catchphrase. I, I like the come on catchphrase. Like a, there'd be like a segment at the end of the show, Rex. It'd be like, well, they used to do that on Monday night foot, football, I think. There was like the come on man section. Do you remember that, Rex? So Monday night, Sunday night football, Monday night football. One of those. I don't know if they do it anymore, but, but there would be like each, each, analyst on the table would have like a come on man section that's kind of where i got it from. i mean it's the thing i've always said but, but that's it's sort of a thing it's a, not a unique phrase but they would do a come on man section segment and they were they would they would someone would make like a silly silly play or, or a bad fumble or something like that and be like sony michelle that that week seven fumble was terrible. Come on, man. Come on, man. You don't remember that? I think Michael Irvin was in there. Chris Carter, maybe Edward. I, f I forget who that crew was. It Fox? Or was it? I forget. Why, why am I blanking on what crew that was? But there would be a come on, man section, and they don't they don't do that anymore. I miss it. At least I don't. I don't. I maybe I'm just missing it, but I just don't see it anymore. There's Cameron Brait. To 99. So just in the interest of time, we're going to just set these aside. Our shipping team, our sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load all the numbered cards. And obviously we'll sleeve and top load the autographs right away. Nice Garoppolo there. We got Lamar Miller to 175. There's Greg Olson to 149. Now, it was an ESPN thing? Maybe it was an ESPN thing. They don't do that segment anymore. I would love to. There's, Kel There's Kelvin Harmon. I was about to say Kevin. It's not Kevin Harmon. It's Kelvin Harmon. That's for Nathaniel and the Redskins. 
Poker, let me say, it was, it, was, it was Monday Night Football. I don't think it was prime time. It was definitely Monday Night Football. It was a it was a pregame show thing. It was one of my favorite segments. They don't do it anymore. Randy Moss to one ninety nine. I mean, maybe they got it from from uh, NFL primetime with Berman and, and Jackson. Two forty nine. We got Devontae Parker to 175. Right, Gary. I think Monday Night Countdown. They don't do the Come On Man segment. I don't think they do that anymore. Michael Thomas to 199. Kiko Alonso to 249. They st wait, they still do it? Logan says they do Come On Man every Monday. Maybe I'm just missing it. Maybe I'm not watching the pregame show. <laughs> Ooh! This is just like the first box of the last case. Kyler Murray. So is there Daniel Jones in the next one? I think the first box in Pick Your Team 3 had Kelvin Harmon, Kyler Murray, and Daniel Jones out of the first box. Look at that. Aaron Pettit, who also had the Cardinals in Pick Your Team 3. I'll bet everyone was thinking, no way Joe pulls another one. And everyone hesitated on the Cardinals. Aaron said, I got the Kyler. F it. I'll just get him again. Rewarded again. There's Dre Greenlaw. This is the first time I've heard of this guy. What a name. Dre Greenlaw. I want him to become like an attorney after his playing days are over. Wow. And Daniel Jones. New York Football Giants, another one for Sen Yin. That's wild. That's just how that's just how pick your team three started. No worry, Sen Yin. Was case one like that too? Wow. I mean, what a start. <laughs> what a start. Hey, Mark. You still want these, right? I'm saving them for you. <laughs> I'll send you to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I guess I am somewhat of a, a, a warlock. I don't know. So if you go to your local card shop, it's the... I don't know. We, we have to track, track that box. I wasn't even thinking about it. But whatever that box was, when I flip it around... <laughs> okay, cool, Mark. Yeah, I'll, I've got a stack of them to send. I'll put it in the shipping queue. Could be the H... Doug, I could use a little HGH right now. Would that wake me up? I don't know what HGH would do. Oh, good. If she digs it, yeah. All right, I'll. I've got a stack. We got a, we got some stacks to send you. Yeah, that's what Mark was just saying, Aaron Pettit. Pick your team one was like that too. Wild. All right, so these prisms are loaded then. Thanks, Prism, for delivering. And Astros win eight one. What if, what if the home team never wins a single game? Well, I'm glad you got him again, Aaron. <laughs> the two box you bought the LCS was terrible. You got to get it from a fresh case, Mark. Have them flip around the case, then you grab... You grab like that top box. That's where it is. Oh, 
We got Richard Sherman to 99. Is there a bent card? Is that what you're saying? There's Foster Moreau, one out of five. Gold vinyl for EA and the Raiders. I think Foster Moreau was like the first autograph out of the second box in the last break. Not the gold vinyl, though. EA, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! How many did we have in Picker Team 3? Gold vinyls? There's Jarvis Landry at 175. Don't forget the JJ Arthigo Whiteside, was, the redemption was also a gold vinyl. I think Doug says four. There's Lonnie Johnson Jr. to 199. Kittle to 249. Riley Ridley to 149. Autograph. Red Wave autograph for the Bears. That'll be for David Jane. There's Richard Sherman to 49, who was talking about you, Crabtree. Caleb Wilson to 149. Right, we did have the the one of one that I missed, but found again. There's Traquan Smith to 175. All right, well, so far so good on this case. Here's Ty Johnson, 249. We got Vance McDonald. Green, scope to 75. And Bryce Love, 9 out of 49. Sensational signatures for Nathaniel and the Redskins. He's going to love it. All right, let's uh, switch over to a different network. That's a long baseball game. Four hours? Five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah, that's a, that's a lot. Maybe some NFL network. What about some game day, NFL game day view? I'm not sure what that show is all. So there's our three autographs right there. All right, folks. Some of you know that uh, that Nick Jaspi and I are in the Circa Millions football contest. Um, we had a couple weeks where you pick five games, five NFL games against the contest spread, which releases uh, releases on Thursdays and is locked on Thursday. And then we uh, it doesn't change after that, so we have to make our picks by Saturday. So we get early lines. But then those could change, and we have to lock them in by Saturday so we don't get the last Saturday, early Sunday injury report. So it's, it's kind of a challenge. We started off the season okay. Then we had a couple weeks in a row where we, we went two and three on our picks. You pretty much have to average like 65, 70% 65, clip to even try to cash. Last week we went and tied, uh, if you push, it's, uh, it's a half a point. So we got four and a half points last week. We went four and a half and half, I guess. Which was good. So before that, we dropped to like 500th place. And then after, or after last week, we jumped up to 
the hundred and ninetieth place or something like that. I think what also helped was that we went we went opposite of some big consensus picks, which was uh, which is pretty exciting. So at a one ninety nine Terry Bradshaw, if you uh, if you go to the Circa Millions football contest. And you look at and you scroll down. And you look at the standings. Oh, sorry, points. We'll give those away to one person in the break. Winner take all the points. And you look up our entry. Our entry is Jaspy, J A S P Y. There's Nick Foles to two forty nine. Um, I don't think these are what's two. It's twelve cards per pack. Twelve packs per box. So what is that? One hundred and forty four. There's Hassan Reddick to 99. We got uh, Chris Jones to 175 for the Chiefs. This is not as bad as like update baseball hobby edition. And we got Amon Green. Nice. 12 out of 50. Amon Green, Green parallel. Franchise Legends. Green Bay Packers, Michael Gallucci. I'll tell you what our what this week's circa picks are going to be in the next box. Stick around for that. But yeah, if you if, at a one ninety nine Marquise Blair. So yeah, so if you look up circa millions contest, you can track the standings. They are updated every Tuesday, I think. You can see how we did. The prize, the first prize, if you win the whole contest, a million dollars. Million dollars. I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind that at all. I could actually buy a real Tesla with that. Out of twenty-five, Josh Allen, trendsetter. Aaron's asking how the stores. It's looking pretty good. We're getting there. We got our wall show since the last time you were here. A lot has changed since last time. We're still about a week or two out from really, you know, being fully operational. But not fully operational yet. But people people have walked in and poked their heads in. We don't really have anything to, to sell at the moment. There's AJ Brown. Nice. Titans. EA. There you go. The last couple of cases have been pretty good for you, Eric. There's the AJ Brown. Oh, the points took care of the other autograph, right? But yeah, I mean, you can check it out again. We, we got the bar finished up, built and finished. Took a couple weeks to really kind of stain it, paint it, varnish it, which is really cool. Um, what else? We got the bar stools in. So we finally got the bar stools. You'll have to give that a, you have to give that a test ride to see what you think. Give us some little feedback on that. We've got the big show. We got, I don't know if you can see kind of in the background, there's like a, a kind of like wire slats right there for like uh, hang tat. We have, uh, what do we have hanging there right now? We got one touches up there and, and I'm sure we'll have other supplies hanging there. So yeah, we're, we're, get, we're getting there every day. We're marching closer and closer. Got our four TV set up above the wall on the bar. So it's a nice spot to uh, kind of hang out there too. So my picks, ladies and gentlemen. We're going Seattle minus six and a half at Atlanta. Chargers at Chicago. We're taking Chicago minus four. Denver at Indianapolis. Taking Indy minus five and a half. Taking Carolina. I think this is a little bit of next two are kind of bold, I think. Carolina plus five and a half at San Francisco. And we're taking Kansas City at home with Matt Moore hosting the Green Bay Packers. Kansas City is getting plus three and a half at home. 
So, a couple, couple longer shots there, but you gotta, gotta be bold to win, win the contest. There's Nate Solder. Sensational signatures. Nate Solder going to send you in and the Giants. <laughs> are the are the Giants minus twenty one against your lines? There's Drew Locke to one ninety nine. All right, done dinner saying I you took Carolina and Casey as well. There's Marlon Humphrey to two forty nine for the Ravens. Drew Locke goes to David Jane and the Broncos. There's Cameron Break to 99. We need Bears to lose games? Do we? I need to, I need to make a million dollars, Edward. That's what I want to do. There's Josh Doxson to 175. I don't want the Chargers winning games either, Edward. I don't think, I mean, Chargers, that offensive line for the Chargers is pretty brutal right now. There's Ryan Kerrigan to 199. Um, and so I think they're going to, you know, the Bears pass rush is pretty darn good. So I think, oh, there's Marquise Brown popping out here. Purple Power Edition. That will be for Doug and the Ravens. There you go, Doug. Now, if Marquise Brown could only A, stay healthy, and B, sign his cards, we'd be in good shape. If he's healthy, he could be pretty explosive. Oh, I thought there was another, another gold vinyl in there, but... It's just this. There's Ian Thomas to 249 for the Panthers. And there's David Long, cornerback for the Rams. The concern laying the five and a half, or yeah, laying the four with the Bears is that, I don't know. Chargers could be a team just desperate for a win. Backs against the wall. And then. I'm counting on this guy. There's Lawrence Taylor to 75. I got to count on Mitchell Trubisky to make to make generate some points. Derrick Henry to 149. Yeah, Trubisky has been scary bad. That's the that's the problem. They're off a bye though, right? There's Drew Brees. He's coming back to 199. That's the concern. Trubisky has not been good. He's been decent at home. The biscuit has not been good. That is that is true. I'm counting on the I'm I'm counting on the Bears. Oh, they lost last match run. I'm counting on the Bears' defense to come through. They're starting to have more success, and we haven't seen that third down to... Maybe the little breather for Mitch Trubisky has been, uh, been okay. I don't know. So it's more about the Chargers being bad, I think, and the Bears' defense being good. Um, how do you guys, you guys feel about the about Seattle minus 6.5 at Atlanta? I want to say that's a no-brainer, but... Yeah, Silver Vets ship, yes. So I've been trying to pull those, but yeah, Silver Vets will ship. It's just the uh, veteran comments won't ship. I think Seattle... Atlanta's just too banged up. Matt Ryan, that's... They've got a good team on paper, but... But, yeah, Ryan... Matt Ryan's been having a weird season, and then he busted his ankle, so he's out... You know, and I just don't think that 
The only concern about about the Seattle game is that it would be a consensus pick. Like all the entries in the contest will pick Seattle, so how much ground do I really gain? But I think the only concern is that their their margin of victory has been a little weird, but I guess I don't know. Dude, would I can't imagine that anything weird would happen with Matt Schaub somehow I think it's Matt Schaub back up, right? Suddenly comes out and just drops four touchdowns on Seattle. Laying a lot of points with Seattle is a little bit of a concern. Or that many points with Seattle is a bit of a concern. But they have Russell Wilson. What about... What about Indiana at home minus five and a half? Why why isn't that line larger for Indiana? You know, Denver on the road. There's Gronkowski to two ninety nine. Frank Reich is a better coach than Fangio. I think they're they're playing a lot smarter football. There's Terrell Suggs. There's. Quincy Anunua, 249. What am I missing there? I thought it would be like... Maybe it's, is it just no respect for the Colts? Right, because Brissett's playing pretty good. Okay, so I'm not crazy. Oh, well, I looked at that and I was just like, why isn't it like 7.5? I thought it would be a couple points higher. There's Devin McCourty to 99. Sorry, more points. We'll add that to that pile. You should have those points flip the other way. Yeah, Flacco is pretty terrible, right? Well, and they're trading away pieces, you know. They're so. There's Jamal Williams to 175, so it looks like they're kind of giving. It sounds like they're kind of giving up on the season. There's Brett Favre, nice to 199. So I guess yeah, I guess it's just no respect for Indianapolis. Well, well, hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of that. Richard Sherman, three out of five. Sensational signatures. I guess not gold vinyl, but kind of that camo refractor in the background. That's pretty cool. Who's got the Niners? Victor Z. Who was talking about you? That's my Aaron Andrews impression. Crabtree. Nailed that uh, Aaron Andrews, right, you guys? Victor, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I don't think Aaron Andrews actually sounds like that. She sounds fine. There is Travis Fulham to 249. Bobby Wagner to 149. We got Jalen Smith to 175. Cowboys. That will be for Tony. And there's Preston Williams. Pup. P. Smiley face P. Sensational signature. He's shown. He's actually shown a, a few moments of brilliance, of, of shining light for the Dolphins here and there. Gary, who has the Dolphins in this one. And the third autograph was the the point over there. Remember? <laughs> All right. Next box. I don't know if I noticed a number on that, Gary. Looks like no number. Yeah, I don't see I don't see a number on here, I'm afraid. Okay. Now we're going to the man, her 
My other uh, other pick, couple picks. Carolina plus five and a half. I believe, I believe in the San Francisco defense. I don't believe in that San Francisco offense just yet. Now, Kyle Allen and the Panthers have been playing some great football going into the bye. And now they're coming out of bye, well-rested, planning for the Niners. And they're going across the country, yeah, but they're planning for the Niners. And I think... Them getting plus five and a half points. I kind of like that. Got a good defense, too. So, I don't know if they're... Will they win the game? Maybe. I don't know if they win that game outright. But I think they get really close. Hence, the plus five and a half. I think the Niners might just be a, a tiny bit overrated at the moment. But we'll see. I've been burned I've been burned by <laughs> I've been burned by the uh, Niners before. Logan saying Packers win by thirty. I've taken for my contest, my million dollar contest, I've taken K C plus three and a half. Green Bay's been pretty comfortable playing like five of their first seven or eight games at home. We all know that Aaron Rodgers isn't quite Aaron Rodgers away from home. There's Marquise Goodwin to 199. And I think people may be overreacting to the uh, overreacting to the Patrick Mahomes injury. I do believe in Andy Reid getting extra time. Remember, there was a Thursday night game, so Andy Reid with extra time, there's Aaron Donald, is is a legendary game preparation preparationer, planner. In-game clock management might be a weird thing for Andy Reid, but having a few extra days to study a team, he's pretty excellent on that. Their defense actually started... Started blitzing <laughs> and, and and pressuring the quarterback, so that that seemed to work a little bit better the previous week. So and they're at home, so I'm taking this David Long to 149. There's Zach Allen, defensive end for the Cardinals. Aaron Pettit. So that's why I'm taking uh, the Chiefs plus three and a half. Would certainly not put put my my uh, my Tesla on that, but but I think it's kind of a bold move for the contest because I think everyone's going to be on Green Bay. So if we if Nick and I can luck out and get Kansas City at plus three and a half, you know maybe Rogers does Rogers things and wins by a field goal. I still have Kansas City plus three and a half, you know, so it's still a, still a win for me because of the hook. Oh, speaking of Mr. Rogers, there he is, 249. Packers, that'll be for uh, Michael Gallucci. I hear you, Logan. Matt Moore, that, trust me, that concerns me too. There's Rashawn Gary. Sensational signatures for Michael Gallucci and the Packers. But if there's any offense in the NFL where you can plug in a where you can plug in Logan Callister could be plugged into the Chiefs offense. And I'll, I'll bet you can just put a couple footballs into Tyreek Hill or you know Tyreek Hill's hands and he'll run for 70, 80 yards. There's Montez Sweat to 75. Packers had a rough time stopping Josh Jacobs early in the game. And he wasn't really effective in the second half. They just went away from the run. But Josh Jacobs looked pretty good in the first half against 
Packers. And so if they use Tyreek Hill maybe in some, some kind of running type situations, formations, could be interesting. Could be some creative ways. There's Nikhil Harry to 199. And Hunter Renfro, another Raider, going out to EA with Oakland. I don't know. We'll see. I just, I just want to win four games. If I win four games the rest of the way, I'll be at least top five in the contest. The contest, Strad, for anyone who plays the contest... Oh, Zach Allen was our first autograph. Anyone who plays those contests, it is sort of... The strategy is sort of tricky. Strategy is tricky because you're, you're thinking about, oh, not, not only do you have to pick winners, but every once in a while, you have to get risky and pick against the grain in order to, to gain points in the standings. Huh? Makes it a little interesting. Any other uh, interesting games? Just not even just in general, not even related to any any financial interest. Just in general, the games look interesting to me. Mm. Oh, this is kind of a weird week. Seahawks Falcons is that going to be an interesting game? I mean, Falcons are just not good. I guess maybe maybe watching the Russell Wilson show would be entertaining. Eagles at Bills. Does that move the needle for anybody? It's like, oh, Joe, I'm, I'm waking up. I'm, well, I guess on the East Coast, you don't have to wake up early. But we have to wake up early. Our game start at 10 a.m. Um, like, wake up early for Eagles-Bills. Nick Jaspi will. Jason Jaspi will. Bossman will. They're Eagles fans. I'm not sure if I'm I'm waking up at 10 a.m. to be like let's let's turn on the put on a pot of coffee let's watch the Eagles Bills game Chargers Bears that could be another ugly one not sure if I'm interested in the Chargers Bears game Giants at Lions move the needle for anybody could be kind of interesting just to see Daniel Jones. Maybe if he plays well, hashtag good for the hobby. Daniel Jones, definitely want him to do well. Buccaneers, Titans. It would have been fun to see Winston versus Mariota, but Mariota's not starting this week. But there's Jabril Peppers to 99. Yeah, Green Bay, Kansas City, probably the best game this week, right? That's what Poker Lemon's saying. There's Dexter Williams, sensational signatures for the Packers. Michael Gallucci trying his hand with the Packers this time. What about Broncos Colts? No, I mean, just after this week. I like the claim. I mean, it's just from a a broad perspective, I'm not sure if anybody but Broncos and Colts fans are going to be watching that. Bengals, Rams. Bengals at Rams. I guess that'll be on TV here in L.A. I mean, I'm not too thrilled about Bengals, Rams. Rams should destroy it, right? Rams are minus 11. We'll have to wait a week to see Michael Bennett in his new Cowboys uniform. Dallas has a bye Sunday, but they believe the New David and Yoku to 199. You know what would be interesting, I think? This isn't a bad game. Cardinals at Saints. Ah, what about that? Saints are minus 12. Cardinals at Saints. That's kind of interesting. Kyler Murray in a dome. You know, just slinging the ball around. I know, Saints defense is pretty good. Drew Brees is back. I think there'll be some interest there. There's Devin White, sensational signatures, Buccaneers. Conrad Bodes. Young Gun versus the, the, the old sheriff, Drew Brees. 
AJ Green, not healthy yet, 249. Oh, no Kamara? But Poker's saying Kamara might be back. So am I loading up Latavius Murray in my DFS or not? There's Darius Leonard, 23 out of 99. Great linebacker for the Colts. Oh, Schefter tweeted, ruled out. All right, well, there you go. So load up Latavius then. Out of 175, Steve Young. I uh, I loaded up uh, Chase Edmonds last week, or last couple weeks in some DFSs. Maybe maybe turned a dollar into five in some contests. Nowhere close to winning the whole thing, but... I think David David Johnson not quite a hundred percent, so I think they've been leaning on uh, I think they've been leaning on Chase Edmonds a little bit more, but I don't know if this week's gonna work out. So Miles Jack. And Devin Singletary, twenty eight out of seventy five for the Bills. Buffalo David Jane with the Buffalo Bills. Wait, David Johnson's out two weeks? Schefter saying? Oh, Trevor with this essential information for our for our DFS lineups. So are we loading up Chase Edmonds again? Or is is everyone loading up on Murray and and Chase? No longer no longer a value play anymore. If everybody's using them. Ty Johnson could be interesting. The last of the early games, Jets Jaguars. Um, I was tempted. I was really tempted to. Uh, all right, see you, Logan. We'll see you tomorrow, man. Uh, I think that triple crown break should go off tomorrow too. I was tempted to take Jets plus six and a half in Jacksonville. Team, road team getting a lot of points in a low total game. It's only 40 points is the total. And they're getting plus six and a half in a lot of places. I think there might be a little overreaction to Sam Darnold seeing ghosts uh, last week. I mean, Patriots have embarrassed a lot better quarterbacks than Sam Darnold. He has nothing to be embarrassed about. Um, but uh, I'm thinking Jets plus six and a half. Non-contest pick, but maybe I'll maybe I'll put some coffee money on that and see what happens. We talked about Panthers Niners. I think that actually could be an interesting game. Um, ooh, Browns at Patriots. People will watch Browns at Patriots, right? I'll watch Browns. Baker Mayfield going into Foxborough? They've been there for a long time. And it's kind of more just steady. You know what you're going to get. You know, Brown's looking to get back on track? Or do they just get smoked? Out of 175, Ed Oliver. I guess it really does come down to, Joe, are you, are you trusting Freddie Kitchens versus Bill Belichick? There's Deontay Thompson for the Cardinals. Sensational signatures. Bill Mosher saying Baker will throw three picks. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. So no shot, Bill, you're saying. Three picks. Game's over. Patrick Peterson to 199. There's my homies, Patrick Mahomes, 249. Gary says three picks in the first half. Yeah. 
Sunday. You know, uh, that's the thing. That, but Belichick's been eating up a lot of defense, or a lot of offenses. Embarrassing a lot of offenses. Tyler Higbee to 149. I don't know. I, there's Miles Boykin. Nice Miles Boykin, Doug March. I think uh, there were obviously a lot of preseason hype with the Browns beginning of the season. Um, not numbered. But I think the problem is 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 Freddie. I don't know why they hired Freddie Kitchens to 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 be the head coach. Stevante Parker to one seventy five. Why would they do that? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? Why did they do that? There's Raquel Armstead to 199. He's sort of out of his element, like, and it's frustrating because you you look at the Browns on paper. Damian Harris too quick. You uh, you look at the pieces on that team: Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, Odell Beckham Jr., Jarvis Landry. You know, they've got some names on the defensive side of the ball, too. It's Vernon Hargraves. And then all of a sudden, you're like, the, the, I don't know. The car's not really getting into gear. There's DJ Moore to 25. Bill saying, if you're a new head coach, you need to be in a position to draft your own QB. But Kitchens was there with the team before. He probably had input on, on who to draft. There's Alexander Madison, who had Vikings rushing attack. Cook looks fantastic, and Madison's picking up some fantasy points, too. What about my, my Raiders at Texans? Raiders, great first half team. Fix it with the loot flex pads. Only at the loot trading. My mom actually was a nurse at St. Jude. She would come home and tell us the stories of all the children that she got to work with. But Raiders have just been We were taught and raised. That 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 schedule has been brutal for the Raiders. They haven't played a home game in like London was a home game. <laughs> Technically. But they haven't seen a home game. They won't see a home game next week either. I think they have won another. No, I think this is the last home game or road game for the Raiders. They've played like five road games in a row. There's a buy-in in between too. But um, Raiders are getting plus six. They've been looking good at, at, at moments in spite of not having like Tyrell Williams you know, Josh Jacobs has been great. Darren Waller has been fantastic. I plug in Darren Waller on pretty much every daily fantasy lineup that I have. I always just I get a I get a defense. Here's how I do it. I, I pick a defense. I put Darren Waller in as tight end, and then I, I then I wrap the, the team around there. You know, get a decent quarterback, maybe stack a receiver, and then running back and value in the running backs, and then you kind of go from there. And you cross your fingers. I think the Raiders can move the ball against the Texans. Correct. Yeah, Darren Wall is way too cheap to not play, right? Poker Lemon saying, absolutely. Yeah, he's a beast. I got him on my team too. Well, look how the Raiders used Jared Cook last year. You know, and now that they're kind of hobbled again in the wide receiver spot without Antonio Brown and with a plantar fasciitis of, uh, of Tyrell Williams and just rookie receivers around him, they're going to that tight end spot again. It's Josh Rosen. Poor Josh Rosen to 175. He... How is it knowing that you got drafted by an inept front office and an inept coach 
And then you, he coach gets fired and he gets booted after one season in the in in Arizona. Just sort of unfair to really judge him on that. Then you get stuck in another bad position in Miami where you know they're tanking to get a quarterback. So you know he's going to be gone again to his third team. Poor Josh Rosen. There's Latavius Murray autograph. There he is. Nice. Lock in Latavius Murray. Kamara is out. That goes to Doug and the Saints. There's Leighton Van Der Esch to 199. There's Austin Eckler to 249. This guy's saying Chargers are going to upset the Bears. Now Russell Coon's going to change everything. Ryan Finley to 75. You're going Chargers too? Fade the public right there. I feel even better about my pick. To 149, Marshawn Lattimore. Yeah, thanks, T. Jacobs. Thanks, Trev. Keenan Allen, doubtful tomorrow. He's going to test his hammy in pregame, but was not optimistic. Yeah. What about you, Cynthia? What do you think? Johnny Unitas to 199. And there's Drew Locke. Is he off IR? Are they going to give Drew Locke a shot? Maybe in later weeks. That goes to the Broncos. This would be good for the hobby if we Drew Locke got a few starts in the coming weeks. There's Hale Waring to 199. Oh, there's a lot of points right here. 600 points. We'll add that to the points pile. This is winner take all on the points, by the way. Love the Josh Jacobs. There's Mitchell Trubisky to 249. Eric Ebron to 90. Eric Ebron's actually been playing some decent football, too. I feel like he, that the hands. He's a little stone hand sometimes. Seems like he has stone hands at times. But... If he improves that part of the, uh, if the, if Eric Ebron would improve that part of his game, I feel like he could be a real. I mean, he is a real threat now, but just even more consistently. But the hands, like this is, sometimes it looks like he's catching footballs with two prism boxes. You know what I mean? Like he'll run the route and he's wide open, and Brissett gets it right in his hands, and he's. That's how he catches football sometimes. Like he has two boxes of prism football in his hands. And you're just like, but then, I, Trevor Jacob, you're, you're a Colts fan, so I'm sure I don't need to tell you this. But then there'll be some like, then there'll be a moment where he's in the middle of the field, linebackers, you know, like coming in on him. And somehow he makes these ridiculous catches. And then you're like, why can't you make that, you know, the other 40% of the time? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, the end zone catch. Right. <laughs> That's the thing. Sometimes he, 45% 40, of the time, it seems like he's just catching with boxes of prism in his hands. And then, like, the there's other moments where you're just like, 
that's like highlight reel. I guess he still he hasn't been in the league that long, right? Thir this is like his third or fourth year, maybe. I, he technically still has time to time to grow. I think the Sunday night football games would be fantastic. Packers at Chiefs. That should be a lot of fun. Um, that's a great Sunday. One of the better Sunday night matchups in a little bit. You know what's going to be an ugly matchup? Dolphins at Steelers. Is that moving the needle for anybody? Are we all? I mean, it's a Monday night game. We'll all watch, obviously. <laughs> but, but is anyone expecting anything good out of there? Dolphins at Steelers. I guess Steelers do get Mason Mason Rudolph back, I think. There's Clinton Portis, 249. There's Ed Reed to 75. Doug thinks there's a Lions cur curse. Your crackpot theory is that it started when Dempsey kicked the field goal. Call it the half shoe curse. There's Marcel Aitman to 149. There's Keanu Neal to 249. with just one dose. But your window for prescription treatment is short. Ask your doctor about Sofluza within 48 hours. It's Quadri Allison to 149. Autograph for the Falcons. That's going to be for Willie Brock for the Dirty Birds. I thought they were going to be a lot better this season. 92 out of 149. Saints versus Lions was the record field goal. And then from there, just... Curse from there. 2 out of 25, Brett Rippon. Mark's son or nephew. There's Matthew Stafford speaking of the Lions. There it is. On a 149. Melvin Ingram. It's a 175. Chargers. Devin White to 199. This guy who really hasn't gotten on track either, right? There's Anthony Johnson to 249. I think I feel the... Uh, there it is. The patch auto right behind me. 52 out of 60. Daryl Henderson. Daryl Henderson? Are we putting him in lineups? Maybe? I think Malcolm Brown is out. Who knows on a week-to-week -week basis, you know, what Todd Gurley is going to do. But Daryl Henderson, he's been given opportunities, but he hasn't really taken advantage of it. But Malcolm Brown's out. You know they are playing the uh, they are playing the the Bengals. Could be a sneaky play. And there's Tyree Jackson for the Bills. That's our third auto of the box. Two more to go. That's for David Jane and the Bills. Buffalo. It'd be good for the hobby if Daryl Henderson could. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure the Rams would like that too, so they don't have to ride Todd Gurley as much. Save him for the playoffs. There is a London game tomorrow. It's a deceptive London game because it's the same time as the. As the early, when the early games start. 
Um, that's the Rams game, actually. Bengals at Rams. It starts at the same time as the early games. But it looks like it's a... I guess it's a night game in London. So 10 a.m. plus like 8, 9 hours. 8 hours, I think. So it's a, it's a night game there. But an early game for, for us. I guess early for us. 10 a.m. is early for us. Are you kind of like the nine a.m. the 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 really early ones for 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 you, which is like six a.m. for us. Nobody watches the the six a.m. London games out here. Um, I know that I I think there's people in people in Vegas kind of don't like it because it's like or the the some books in Vegas don't like it because there's nobody getting up. At 6 a.m., you know, to to put money down on that early game in Vegas, and no one does it the night before. There's DK Metcalf to one. No one like remembers to do it the night before. Jonathan Abram, 16 out of 25. I miss Jonathan Abram. I think losing him was was pretty rough. I think he really offered a, a big spark, at least at least attitude to the Raiders secondary, which has been pretty rough. There's Anthony Barr, 249 for the Vikings. Sammy Watkins, 75. There's Montez Sweat. <laughs> I still sweat commercials crack me up. The Old Spice sweat commercials. I think look, it was like 21 and 22 points. That's just my last name. That's not what we heard. Jawan Williams, autograph for the Pat Riots. That's for Ben Oaks and the Patriots. Yeah, I think yeah, that Monday night game, Adam, I'm not looking for that's gonna be a bad one. Miami at at Pittsburgh. Yeesh. Denzel Ward to ninety nine. They love these eight, ten play drives where they kick a field goal. And that's a good one to have a I mean, even if everybody was healthy, that's kind of a bad game, right? That's just like the soft Monday night game. You know, imagine if like even if the Dolphins were like three and three. You know, and Pittsburgh had a healthy Big Ben. Would that still move the needle for anybody? No, right? Because it's just like, I guess this is the one where where we have to give Miami a showing. Can't not have Miami. Carlos Hyde to one seventy five. Hayden Hurst for the Ravens to 199. And Easton Stick, 28. Yeah, 28 out of 49. I thought it was 26 for a second. That's for Keith Smith and the Chargers. Give this guy a shot. If the season continues to go sideways for the Chargers, give this guy a shot. All right, last box. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. Random. Oh, break credit. I almost forgot it. We got the points to randomize, and we got break credit to randomize as well. If you bought at least two teams, 
You'll get one entry for a hundred bucks of break credit. If you bought four teams, you'll get two. These prison boxes take way, way up too much space. So last three autographs and some parallels. Maybe we'll get a can find another gold vinyl in here or something like that. That'd be cool. Rex thinks they should add 15 to 20 games each season. Oh. Be, that would be an ugly brand of football. You'd have to expand rosters to like 150 people. You'd have like the, the first third of the season quarterback, the second third of the season quarterback, and the third third of the season quarterback. Kenny Galladay to 199. 162 game season. I mean, you could do it. I think you can do it if you shorten the game. Like if each game was like, I don't know, 15 minutes or something like that. Two, two 15 minute halves. And that's it. Jared Goff to 25. Mark Andrews to 149. There's Terry Godwin to 175. Imagine how exciting offenses would be. Everyone would be going for it. Nice Dwayne Haskins. Nathaniel Murphy. Murphy with the Reddy Redskins. Nice. Nice Dwayne Haskins. Although I think feel like feel like he's been thrown into a not so good situation, but there he is. Out of 199, Robbie Anderson. The Patriots defense has been downright scary this season. Throws off the back one to the end zone. Intercepted. Knock back. Guess who's here? The boogie man coming. Michael Any guesses on this final redemption? Another uh, Marquise Brown for Doug, maybe? That, that seems to be the guy this year that doesn't sign his cards a lot. Jason Witten to 249. The former QB and the current QB go one on one on what it's like being Buffalo's adopted sons. We got Gardner Minshew to 99. Let's see if the legend of Minshew continues to grow. Gardner Minshew, the taming of the Minshew. There's Barry Sanders. I've heard of this guy to 175. Ooh, Vinny's guessing a Benny Snell Jr. He's another guy. Doesn't seem to sign his cards. There's Rodney Anderson. Rodney Anderson for the Cincinnati Bengals. It's oh, it's Ryan Finley. Sensational Signatures Prism Green Scope for the Bengals. Ricky Buffalo. There you go, Ricky. The most ridiculous stat in an era of ridiculous patience. It really is. 
We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. We're on to Cincinnati. I feel like a dealer. <laughs> All right. Let's get random.org set up here. All right, so let's get some new dice right here. Let's go back to the list. Let's grab everyone's names from Aaron down to Nathaniel. And name on top gets a bunch of points. 250 plus 250, that's 500. 1,100 points. Right, plus six, five plus six, 11. Yeah, 1,100 points, that's a lot. That is a lot. And now we gotta figure out who's gonna get $100 a break credit. Aaron Pettit got two teams, so he gets one entry. Conrad got two, he gets one. David Jane, you got three, but only two teams count for the promo. You get still get one entry though. So do you, Doug, EA, Gary Fig. The X Line, Keith Smith, Steel Curtain, Michael Gallucci, TJ Leonard, and that's it. That is one spot out of 10 this time. The highest number we've had thus far. One spot out of 10 is going to get a shot at 100 bucks of break credit. One in 10 chance at 100 bucks? It's pretty good odds. That's better than a scratcher, right? Let's roll it and randomize it five and a four, nine times. Points first. And that's a lot of value of the points, too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. All right, did I get it right this time? Yes, nine times. After nine times, Nathaniel, a bunch of points going your way. You can sell them, you can use them. Pretty good amount of points. Nine times for the hundred bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. Name on top, Michael Gallucci, Steel Curtain, a hundred bucks of break credit going your way. Congrats to you. Thanks to everybody for breaking with us. Let's do, actually, let's do a quick recap before we shut down this video and the show. Pretty solid break. We started off really well, and then we got some solid stuff at the end too. Got Haskins, Stick, Josh Abram, Daryl Henderson. Got some Drew Locke, Latavius Murray, Alexander Madsen. Got Hunter Renfro. Got Preston Williams. Richard Sherman was pretty cool. And that Richard Sherman was out of five. Got Marquise Brown, AJ Brown, and we got Amon Green, we got Foster Moreau, Gold Vinyl, that was also to five, Daniel Jones, Kyler Murray to start things off again, and Calvin Harmon right there. Another solid prison break in the in the books, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure there'll be more going on tomorrow, so check it out on Sunday, jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is Joe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.